Between flying into Orlando for our Disney World trip and heading down to the cruise, we found a clever way to travel from Orlando to Palm Beach. And let me show you how. We rode the Brightline train, which is a brand new train in Central Florida that will get you to most places that you wanna go. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This morning, we will be boarding a new mode of travel on our way to Palm Beach to catch our cruise. This is a brand new train here in Florida and a new way to get around. So we're going to check it out, let you guys know everything about it. Our train is here and ready for us. Let's embark on a new adventure, shall we? Just like that, we have boarded the train and it was a pretty simple process. We went through a really quick security like super quick and then we cut around the corner and our train was here ready for us and 10 minutes later we are off i'm about to take a train ride through florida um i'm excited for the views but uh before we get started i'm talking about our seats for the three of us we got like the four seat pattern with the table in between and on this table there are a few things that makes it nice for eating working relaxing or just having a nice conversation with friends so if you're more than two people you get to face each other which is super nice but let's go over some of the details in this seat shall we christina and karen We've got breakfast going on over here. Yeah. Um, there's this little pull-out situation to bring your table a little closer to you. Spot for your drink, and I guess a spot for your snack there, and you just push it back in. But on the ends here, I'm already plugged in, but I'm gonna plug this out and kind of show you. All right, so smooth layout, and then you kind of pull out right here, pop up, and then you have your plugs. We've got USB as well. So multiple ways to plug in and keep yourself charged. And then if that's not enough, in between your seats here, there's another plug. So plenty of opportunities to stay charged. You can uh, have your little armrest that you could fight with your neighbor with. And um, up above is all of your, your shoes. storage compartments <laughs> with your shoes threatening to smash Karen's sandwich any second now. <laughs> Door slides close. Gentle, gentle. So that means what is red? We're occupied. That's good. Nice big mirror. So not like an airplane bathroom where space is at a premium. There's plenty of space on the train, so you use lights for the bathroom. So this is nice. Bathroom tour. We got the mirror, we got the sink, we got the trash can, we got the kid, change thing. We got toilet paper, I don't know what this is. Wave hand to flush, oh, flush, toilet. Toilet seat covers, mirror, another trash can. Things to hang, your stuff, oh, things to hang your stuff with, and a lock for the door. I cannot figure out how to dry my hands. I just wash my hands and apparently, touch on the side here. We arrived into Palm Beach early and it was smooth sailing to the cruise port. But let's fast forward to when we came back just a couple days later and made our journey back to Orlando to catch our flight. So the most convenient thing about this is the Bright Line station is located in the airport in Orlando. So you don't have to then Uber to go anywhere. You can just hop off the train and head right to your terminal. The process is super easy getting tickets. There are multiple times that you can choose from super early 5 to 6 a.m. all the way through the evening. And the prices do depend on what time of day that you choose to go. Um, more favorable times are gonna cost you a little bit more than the early, super early mornings will be the cheapest. So picking up where we left off with Margaritaville, we did indeed make it to the train station on time with just a few minutes to spare really. So once we got there, we went through security, which doesn't take very long at all, tapped in our tickets and headed to the lounge where we had a couple of minutes. Now, if you have more time here, there is a bar called Mary Mary's 
where you can get some drinks. There is a place to get some food, a little snack shop, and you can really just hang out here um, if you're waiting for your transportation. But we had a few minutes just to take in the sights in the lounge before our train pulled in and it was time to go. We headed down to the platform where our train was pulling in and it took no time at all to board the train and find our seats. You get to choose your seats when you book your ticket. So we just chose the same seats that we came in on just for ease. And we definitely wanted a four top to accommodate all three of us and give us the most comfortable option. All right, so on the Bright Line train, some things that we didn't get to get to the first time is the food menu, fueled by flavor. While you're on board, very similar to planes, um, they do come around with the trays. So you get some snacks, you get some drinks. Um, I wanna show you what the prices look like here. Um, it's not cheap, so um, it's important for you to know that you can also bring your own food, drinks, and snacks on the train um, for yourself. I would suggest doing that um, rather than buying stuff on here, but it's great if, you know, you didn't have room for it or, you know, last minute didn't have time. Um, you have plenty of options to choose from. I gotta admit, after Disney and a quick cruise, we were worn out. So it was nice just to sit back, relax on the train, knowing that we won't miss our stop and we don't have to be up and driving. It took away a lot of the stress of traveling back home for us. And I really appreciate that about the train. 10 out of 10, I will definitely do this again if I'm doing a multi-stop in Florida. Next time on Vacation Vibes, I go over some more money-saving tips like how we were able to pack for this entire vacation in only a personal item size bag. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.